Disclaimer. Specular maps are a different breed altogether. This is a displacement map, not a specular map. I used it within the actual engine to make specular highlights. If you want to actually make a real specular map, you can take the actual displacement map out of ZBrush and go to image adjustments and then go into exposure. You can then adjust the exposure ratio down until you get something about like that. Very, very, very faint highlights. You can see only a couple little rocks over here and over there. And hit OK. That is a cheap way to make a displacement map. To try it out, let's go into the engine. I save it as a TIFF. I go into Blender. And I go into my textures. And I go into my displacement map. And browse out to my new displacement map. Okay. I then can go back to my material and play around with the settings to see what new possibilities arise from the newly changed displacement or specular. So in here I got my displacement. It's mapped to my specular and hard. So now I have a whole new level and what I can do is I could probably up this and you can see that because of that map is in there it is in total control of my specular, my hard, and my reflections. Okay, and no matter what level I go to, it's always going to be a very dim thing. Unless I go really, really high here. It's because that map is in control of it. Okay, so that's what a true specular map is. When I had something mapped in here that was a little gray, um, I had more control here, however, to play around. That's why I did that. All right, so I just wanted to clarify that in case anybody gets, uh, well, that's not a specular map. and I don't think anybody would, but you know how it goes. All right, enjoy, and have a good one.